tired face, concerned face, people looking for a generator, uh, employees that work through the night, very tired, very concerned because they haven't heard about their families. So the people on, on the highway looking for signal, and, and that's break our hearts because how is possible that people that they don't even gas for the cars, the, the, the little gas that they have available, they use it. To, to use for communication in the highways, looking for signal. Folks went out there to survey, basically on foot, walking through two, three days after the destruction of the storm. Climbing up mountains, they had what they had, a machete crew, clearing the path for them, and, and basically the first thing we had to do was get an idea of what the heck was out there. Because you don't know. There's no way. You don't have no data from the element, no data from, from the systems. Everything is down. Everything you see on the board is as messy as it looks. Believe it or not, everybody in the group here, God bless their souls, they come together. And we've got probably 50, 60 crews doing tower work. 48 construction crews. There's at least 130 fueling crews. We have a startup, which is a company to provide generators, maintenance generators, and refuel over 700 locations at different times, at different speed rates. We're running a security company that has to do a startup. We started like with two asset protection guys on the island, we're up to 495. Because as you can imagine, when there's needs, generators walk away, diesel seems to burn faster than it used to. The security of personnel security of assets have become like a new line of business. As uh, the, the week one and week two progressed, they landed on military planes, satellite pulse, which is a truck with a satellite dish that connects temporary cell power, okay? The first mission was to take that pulse into the next biggest city in population, which is Ponce. Once that equipment was turned up in Ponce. The numbers of JSOK okay dropped by the hundreds, two to three hundreds. And when the second one, the number dropped again, another 100. And that's when we started becoming, like feeling good. I remember one technician, I, I never saw him again, rushing into the LRC room, minutes after we turned up the cult, thanking all of us because he was able to speak to his parents and he know that they were okay. So that moment was like, oh wow. That's when most of us realize that communications is not just data or phone call. It became like a safety, a humanitarian need. The mission is to recover communications for the island. You can do that in a number of different ways, but what we're doing here is bringing what we call emergency communication portables. So they're a portable satellite dish that we can provide a link via satellite for the cell towers, provide a backhaul through our, our earth station in the US, and that's to be able to provide a broadcast from those cell towers. But some of the guys here saw the opportunity to, to use these ECPs in a very innovative way and tie them into the, into the cell network and light up cell towers that perhaps had, had escaped uh, complete destruction. Clearly we're deploying a huge number of satellite assets. On the island now we have in the region of 22 satellite dishes, uh, antennas, and that's quite a, a significant impact on our, on our bandwidth. So working with our providers and uh, partners with DTV, we're actually able to, to move a satellite in space to provide us with additional bandwidth. Got approval to move the satellite and we moved it to a better geostationary orbit um, around this area to provide that service. So instead of us um, using our Earth station in the US, we'll redirect the traffic, bring it right down here to Puerto Rico, so that'll improve the service no end for the customer. Everywhere that I walk in, and they see an AT&T shirt, people would have hugged me, 
people have kissed me. People have like kind of broken tears saying, thank you for what you guys are doing. Because thanks to you, I was able to uh, check on my mother. I was able to get her the supplies that, that, that I need. My family was able to communicate with uh, the people in the United States that are like desperate because they did not know where the whereabouts of, of their family. And uh, I felt like a rock star. So I'm very proud of the brand. I'm very proud of at and because I have experienced this from day one and I've been in every single piece of this equation. And I can tell you that I have not seen or experienced any other company, any other entity that has come full force like AT&T did.